Hello everyone, we will continue the topic search help exit and in the previous videos we understood what are the various search help parameters. Firstly, I run the elementary search help. We saw the values in the search help parameters. Then I run the collective search help and we saw the values into those four predefined parameters of the search help exit. Two are the part of changing and two are the part of tables. Now, the most, most important part we will cover now, what are the various call control steps in the search help exit? If I will go to this search help exit, we have a parameter call control. And I showed you in the debugging mode that we have a component or column step because in every interview, interviewer will give you the specific requirements and they will ask, okay, tell us, this is the requirement, how which particular step of call control we can use. So in this video, we will understand what are the various call control steps in the search help exit because ultimately we need to write the logic based upon those con call control steps only. And it is very, very easy to understand the call control step. So firstly, what I will do, I will run the search help without debugging. Then I will show you in that debugging and the best part of this is SAP gave the same to same technical names because suppose if I will show you without debugging at that time, whatever the words I will use in the debugging mode, we will be able to see same to same technical word. So there is no difficulty in remembering the call control steps also. By the name itself, we can predict that this step is for this particular use. Suppose I am running this particular search help. In this search help, the data will come from the order header table and the dialog type is that this dialog with value restriction. Suppose I am running this search help. We will ignore this pop-up. We are always ignoring this pop-up. I will go for OK, test suppose. You can see one pop-up came. And why this pop-up came? Because we choose that dialog type as dialog with value restriction. So before displaying that data, this dialog pop-up will come. Just see, what is the use of this dialog pop-up? This dialog pop-up is used to restrict the values. Suppose if I only want those records where payment mode is C, so this dialog pop-up is used to restrict the values. So whenever I will put enter, I will only only get those records where payment mode is C. So this dialog pop-up, this dialog pop-up is used to restrict the values. If you will not pass anything on to this dialog pop-up, it will show you all that data from this particular table. Now just see what will be your step. This is a pop-up which is used to restrict the values. It means it is a step itself. It is a step itself. Suppose I am putting payment mode C. So yes, so it is the, it is a step which is used to restrict the values. So this is our one step. Now, whenever I will go for OK, OK. So this particular, whatever the restricting values are there, system will go to this particular table 
and it will fetch data based upon this only whatever you are putting. If you will not restrict, system will simply bring all that data. If you will restrict, system will only only bring those records from that database table. It means whenever you will go for this button, system will select that data from this particular table. It means select is also a step. So what is the first step we discussed? First step, when we put the conditions. What is the second step? Second step is based upon those conditions, you are selecting the data from the table. So two steps covered. Whenever you selected the data, after that, your data got displayed. This is your display. This is your display. And whenever you will select, you are returning a record. So just see, it is very, very easy to understand the steps. Firstly, you are restricting. Yes, it might be the case you are not restricted. Restricting. It means it is a step before the selection itself. Suppose if I will run again and show you. I am running. I am ignoring this pop-up. So as of now, your selection has not done. Selection has not done. So this is a step before the selection, before the selection. Once you click on OK, then the selection will be done. So firstly, we have pre-selection. Pre-selection means we are putting the values. We are restricting. We are putting the conditions. Whenever you will put the condition and go for OK, select will occur. After select, display will occur. Now you can see display will occur. And whenever you will select a record, return will occur. So this is whole game of your call control steps. Now same to same thing. I will show you in that debugging mode and it will give you 100% clarity and you will understand. And anyways, in the previous two videos, I showed you. So now you got a little bit idea also. Suppose now I will put a breakpoint. Now I will put a breakpoint and show you in the debugging mode. So I put a breakpoint itself. Now I will run this particular search. Now we have to ignore this pop-up. I will go for test. Now just see, pop-up has not come yet. Before that, we entered into debugging mode. Now I will show you call control. Call control. Now I will show you call control step. Now people will say, what is the meaning of this cell one? Cell one. When you explained without debugging, you told before selection, selection, display and return. Then what is this cell one? Word itself is saying cell one means select one of the elementary searcher. Suppose simple example. This step is applicable only for collective search help. This particular step. Suppose simple example. I have a collective search help which has 10 elementary search help. And what customer is saying, I only only require 5 elementary search help. Then in that case, what we will do? We will use this particular step to delete for to delete all the five remaining elementary search help. See, we will write the logic. So whenever you want to choose the elementary search helps from a list, whenever you want to choose the elementary search help from the collective search help, 
in that case you will make use of this particular step anyways whenever i will start with the practical part i will show you this step the main main benefit of this step is suppose customer is saying i do not want this 10 search help i only want this 5 search help then we will see if the call control step is cell 1, we will delete the 5 remaining search help. This is what we will do. Now, now I am doing F8. Now you will see how the steps will change. And you can see we have the step pre-cell 1. Now if I will do F8, you can see we have the step pre-cell word itself is saying pre-cell means before the selection before the selection now whenever i will do f8 you can see our restriction pop-up came restriction pop-up it means before that which step called pre-cell pre-cell and what is the purpose of pre-cell to enter the selection condition. So just see, this pop-up came before that which step called pre-cell called pre-cell. So in the pre-cell, we will write the logic to put the conditions. So simply those conditions will come here. Just see, this is scenario based which interviewer will always ask you. Interviewer will ask you, I want to restrict that data based upon these particular condition. Tell us which particular step you will use. So answer is pre-cell, pre-cell. Because pre-cell means this step is before the selection process. The purpose of this step is to enter the selection condition, selection condition. So we will put the selection condition and those selection condition will put here, will come here. Suppose we gave the selection condition as payment mode C. Now I will go for OK. Whenever I will go for OK, but the step will become, step will become select, select. Just see, what is call control step now? Select. What is the meaning of select? You are selecting the values. Now, whenever I will go for F8, now you can see after select, now you can see what is the meaning, what is the step now? This, this means display. Now, once the step become this, now you can see what is the result now? We got the result. We are displaying the values. So what is the this? This means displaying the values. Now whenever I will select a record, now I am selecting. This is our result. Now I am selecting. Whenever I will select, now you can see what is call control step. It is return. And now whenever I will do F8, so we returned the value. It is extremely easy to understand if you will go by the understanding because there's no technicality here. Whatever you are doing, you just compare it to real world. Anyways, we have so many things here. Suppose I will just go for the summary. So what we did, suppose firstly, I will remove the breakpoint. I will remove this particular breakpoint. Now, I am running the search help without debug. Whenever you will run the search help, ignore this pop-up. Firstly, your restriction pop-up will come. Okay, I'll just remove the breakpoint. Firstly, your restriction pop-up is coming. It means you can put the conditions here, conditions here. So, what call control step will be considered as pre-cell, pre-cell. It means we firstly pre-cell pre -cell step will call, then this particular pop-up will come. It means in the pre-cell step itself, 
you can write the logic to pass the selection condition. It means pre-sell is for what? Enter the selection condition. Now, once you put the selection condition and go for OK, it means system will go for selecting the data. Once system will go for selecting the data, what will be the call control step? It will be select. After select, the call control step will become dis dip dismiss display. So it will display the value. Whenever you will select, it means you are returning the value. So what will be the call control step? It will be return. Now, cell 1, we covered. This is only applicable whenever you have collective search help. At that time, it will be very useful because sometimes a collective search help has 15, 20 search help. And customer is saying it is very much confusing for me. I just want these two to three search help. So at that time, we will delete the other search help using this particular step. So at that time, we will use this particular step to delete the other search help. Now people will ask, we got pre-sell one also in that debugging mode. You have not tell that. Okay, we will cover in the next time, next video. What is the meaning of pre-sell one also? But maximum time, we will use pre-sell only, not pre-sell one. So I will cover that also. So that's it in this video. Thank you.